Hey guys, welcome to Financial Health and Wealth, where we educate you in various ways to improve your life financially and to live long, healthy lives. So today we're going to talk about why now's the time for future planning. And if you'd like to see more of this type of content, then like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know about future videos. Let's get started. What happened to the days of the $10 lawn mowing job or the $7 an hour babysitting gig every Saturday night? Not a penny withheld, no taxes to file, no stress about saving a million dollars for retirement. As a kid, doing household chores or helping out your friends and neighbors for a little spending money was vastly different from your grown-up reality. Writing checks for all those bills, paying your taxes, and buying all the things that children seem to need these days, all while trying to save as much as you can for retirement. When you were a kid, did those concepts feel so far away that you might as well have been camped out on Easter Island? What happened to the carefree attitude surrounding our finances? It's simple. We got older. More opportunities, more responsibilities, more choices. As the years go by, finances get complicated. So knowing where your money is going and whether or not it's working for you when it gets there is something you need to determine sooner rather than later, even before your source of income switches from mowing lawns and babysitting to your first internship at that marketing firm downtown. A great way to get a better idea of where your money is going and what it's doing when it gets there, a financial strategy. Depending on where you are in life's journey, retirement may seem like a distant mirage or maybe closing in faster than expected. You might think that deciding when to start preparing for retirement requires complicated algorithms. Yes, there may be some math involved, but the simple answer is, if you haven't started preparing yet, the time to start is right now. Many financial professionals recommend saving enough to provide 80% of your pre-retirement income in your retirement years so you can maintain your standard of living. Now, following these rules isn't an exact science, though, because expense structures for each household can differ greatly. It is, however, a good place to start. How do you get to 80%? Living expenses typically decrease in the retirement because costly commutes, investing in business clothing, and eating lunch out five days a week are reduced or eliminated. Another big expense that often changes is housing. At retirement, it's common to trade in your three, four, or five bedroom home for something smaller, easier, and less expensive to maintain. When you're younger, preparing for retirement may be a fairly simple process. The main considerations may be life insurance and savings. This can't be overstated. Now may be the time to buy life insurance. If you're young and healthy, rates are much more likely to be lower. This also can't be overstated. Now may also be a good time to start saving. Every penny you put away can get you closer to your goal. As anyone who's older can tell you, life is full of surprises that end up costing money, and those instances have the potential to interfere with your savings strategy. Life expectancy rates are essentially averages with low and high numbers in the mix. If you're fortunate enough to beat the average life expectancy, your retirement savings may become slim pickings in your later years, a time when you might not be able to generate supplementary income. Whether you're young or getting it on in years, the time to start saving is now. But if you're near retirement age, it's also time to take an honest look at your expenses. Part of the trick to stretching retirement savings to eliminate unnecessary costs, if you're considering moving to a smaller home to cut costs and you're feeling adventurous, you might want to consider moving to a different state with a lower tax rate to enjoy your golden years. If you're younger, it's still a great time to assess your budget and eliminate any and all unnecessary spending that you can. For younger people, time is your ally when it comes to saving for retirement but waiting to start saving might leave you with less than you'd hope for later in life. If you're closer to retirement age, there's still time to build your nest egg and examine your projected expenses. Talk to your financial professional today about options that may be available for you. The bottom line is that no message in a bottle sent from a more prepared version of your future self is just going to drift your way in from Easter Island. A sound strategy for your money is essential. Starting as soon as possible is better than waiting and talking to a financial professional is a solid way to get going. Thanks for watching, and as always, hit the like and subscribe buttons to keep getting future content, and go ahead and tap that notification bell while you're at it. Enjoy the rest of your day.